I'm Skyler. If you've ever wanted to write for film or TV or theater, you've probably come across Celtex at some point. It's really handy. It's a lightweight application. Uh, it's free unless you get the uh, Celtics Plus and like all the kits that they have for it. Um, but it makes screenwriting actually kind of a breeze. It's uh, pretty close to Final Draft, actually. Um, if you wanted to put a script that you've written in Final or in uh, Celtex on your iPod, you've got two different options. You could download the Celtex app, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. This is Celtex, and Here's a sample screenplay. So you can see the screenplay. It's got continuous scrolling. Pretty cool. You can tap on it in order to edit it. And you've got a lot of the tools that are familiar from Celtex. Um, but if you want to uh, bring in a screenplay that you've written on your computer, the easiest way to do it is with their Cloud Sync uh, account. So it's free to make one. Uh, you set it up on your computer and on your iPod, and then you can sync changes back and forth. The other way to do it is to email yourself a PDF, or to put that on Dropbox, or um, even just sync it through iTunes. So if I go into iBooks right now and uh, take a look at my PDFs, I've got a screenplay here. And this is one that I wrote uh, some time ago. But here we go. So I'm actually looking at my PDF screenplay. And I can zoom in and you know, zoom out and do all that sort of stuff. I actually like doing this because um, the iBooks application is pretty fast and PDFs are really standard. So I could even open this one in uh, GoodReader or Dropbox, any number of applications. And it makes it really easy to uh, share it with people, to give feedback when people share scripts with you, all that sort of stuff. So there's your short answer. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. Mm -hmm.